Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the moon? What if one day, it suddenly disappeared? How would that affect life on Earth? What does the moon do? Imagine a world without the moon. The moon is like Earth's cosmic dance partner, keeping our planet in a steady twirl through space. This celestial body, though it might seem to be just a beautiful backdrop, is actually a fundamental force that shapes our daily lives. First off, the moon is Earth's stabilizer. Its gravitational pull is the secret behind our planet's consistent tilt. Why does this matter, you ask? Well, this tilt is responsible for the change of seasons. Without the moon's steadying influence, Earth might wobble wildly, causing drastic changes in climate over short periods. Imagine going from scorching summer heat to frigid winter cold in just a few months. Now, let's talk about the moon's slow dance away from Earth. Each year, the moon drifts about 3.8 centimeters further away. This gradual departure is like a slow countdown to a future where the moon's stabilizing effect weakens. Over millions of years, this could lead to longer days and more erratic shifts in our climate. Furthermore, the moon's gravitational pull doesn't just hold itself to keeping Earth in check, it also plays a crucial role in how sunlight is distributed across our planet. This distribution affects everything from the weather patterns we see to the climate zones that determine which regions are deserts, forests, or tundras, tides, and the moon. Think of the moon as Earth's best friend, always pulling the sea towards it with a gentle tug. This pull from the moon is what makes the ocean rise and fall, creating what we call tides. It's like the moon is playing a game with the ocean, making waves dance twice a day. Now, Let's dive into why this matters and how it's more interesting than it might seem at first glance. Every day as the Earth spins, the moon's gravity pulls on the ocean, causing high tides. When the moon is on the other side of the Earth, it pulls again, causing another high tide there. Places in between these high tides have low tides. In some places, like the Bay of Fundy in Canada, the difference between the high tide and the low tide can be as big as a five-story building. These tides are super important for all the plants and animals living in and near the ocean. The movement of water brings food to them and helps clean their homes. For example, small fish and crabs find food when the tide comes in and can hide in the water from predators. When the tide goes out, birds come down to the beach to look for fish or crabs to eat. It's all connected. Also, the moon's pull doesn't just move water, it can even bend the earth a little bit. This doesn't mean we feel earthquakes all the time but it does show how strong the moon's pull is. Moon and life. Have you ever wondered if the moon does more than light up our night sky? Well, it turns out, the moon is like a backstage manager for Earth's big show, playing a crucial role in the story of life itself. Long ago, when Earth was just a young planet, the moon was much closer. Its strong pull might have helped stir the oceans and create tides that were important for the first forms of life to evolve, guiding light for travelers. Some animals use the moon's light to find their way. For example, sea turtles hatch on beaches and then scuttle towards the sea, guided by the moon's reflection on the water. It's like the moon is their north star, leading them to safety. A calendar for life events. The moon's phases act as a natural calendar for many species. Corals, those beautiful sea creatures that build reefs, often spawn release their eggs and sperm into the water all at once on certain moonlit nights. Moonlit romance. Not just corals, but some fish and amphibians also tune their mating activities to the moon's phases. It's as if the moon sets the mood for their romantic escapades, ensuring their species continue to thrive. Impact on human culture. Since the dawn of time, the moon has been more than just a celestial body orbiting Earth. It's been a source of wonder, inspiration, and even guidance for humans. The moon is a calendar. Long before we had smartphones and planners, Humans looked up to the moon to keep track of time. Many ancient cultures developed lunar calendars based on the phases of the moon. For example, the Islamic calendar is still lunar today, with months beginning when the first crescent of a new moon is sighted. It's like the moon was humanity's first calendar, hanging up there in the sky for everyone to see. A beacon for festivals. The moon marks the occasion for numerous festivals around the world. The Mid-Autumn Festival in China and Vietnam is celebrated when the moon is at its fullest and brightest, symbolizing prosperity and family reunion. In myths and legends, in Greek mythology, Artemis was the goddess of the moon and the hunt, embodying the moon's ethereal beauty and fierceness. Meanwhile, in Native American folklore, the moon is often seen as a protector or a guide. Conclusion. 
Losing the moon would have far-reaching consequences, affecting everything from the environment to human culture. It reminds us of the delicate balance of our planet and the importance of preserving it.